Burnout is serious business. There have been a number of news items in the media lately talking about how top executives are having to step down from their roles due to burnout. Just recently, Ariana Huffington has been quite vocal about her experiences with burnout. So it's clear that burnout is an important topic, even in the boardroom. Maybe it's especially in the boardroom. And Ariana is not alone. In my experience working with high level CEOs and senior leaders, I have seen many very successful people struggle with the immense pressures of their roles. And I've seen the impact that has had on their mental health, their physical health, their personal relationships, their families, and then their performance as well. So this shift is a wake up call for leaders and organizations worldwide. But how can VPs and senior executives prevent and manage burnout despite the immense pressures that come with their roles? Well, I'm not going to tell you to do more self-care. You've heard that a thousand times. I'm not going to tell you to go and talk to someone. You've also heard that a thousand times, I'm sure. I'm not going to tell you to do exercise. You know that already. In fact, you're probably doing all these things already. And you should do those things. They're good for you. But here's one thing that I don't see most people at our level do. Be humble. Be humble. Be humble when it comes to mental health and well-being. You are obviously quite brilliant at what you do. You're clearly very productive and a high achiever. That's why you've reached this level of success, right? But if you're feeling on the brink of burnout or breakdown, if you're not feeling good about life, then you have found a new area to explore and discover. New undiscovered territory. And for this, you need to be humble you need to, in order to try things you haven't tried before and to try them fully, wholeheartedly. Because something is escaping you when it comes to understanding what your life is about. And the answer is out there for you. And there will be different answers for each of us, but to discover them, you need to be willing to ask the questions that are difficult and to listen to the answers that are even more difficult. You need to drop your ego and learn something new. You see, a lot of people in the space of business or career success are not humble because they're afraid to be seen as weak even to themselves. And I get it. A semblance of weakness at our level can be quite risky, but not if you handle it properly with humility and discretion. Listen, at the end of the day, you are still a human being. Just because you have a great set of skills in one area in the workplace doesn't always mean you're great at everything. And you don't have to be great at everything. So relax. But you do need to take action in this area so it doesn't take you down a negative spiral where everything is impacted. So go and get coaching, get mentoring, get therapy, talk to a trusted friend, take your dog for a walk, whatever you need to do, do it. It doesn't mean you're weak, it means you're smart because you can see that you have blind spots and you're willing to reach out and ask the questions and listen and learn something new. Remember, acknowledging and addressing burnout isn't a sign of weakness. It's a strength that can lead to more sustainable leadership. So let's continue this important conversation and lead by example. Thanks for watching and take care.